coming back from another great webisode series of the Runaround webisode series uh, of Two Plank Productions here. And Corey Tibbles again joining me here in the studio. Happy to have you in here, Corey. Thanks. Happy to be here. Well, you know, we just saw one of the uh, one of your favorites of the webisode series again. Um, it was what we have planned back here right now. So t kind of take me through where it was mostly and uh, some some interesting. Interesting stuff, because right I'd now we say have, right there, uh, that, that sums it up, that sums up the winner. winner. It was, I feel like every day we actually got shots done, there were three or four days of stuck, stuck, stuck. Yeah. And we tried to go film in places that we've never filmed before, and I know other people really haven't filmed. Um, we did a lot of exploring outside of Jackson Hole, a lot of exploring outside of Crested Butte and towards Aspen, uh, and really just pushing it further, and it would really take three or four days to get tracking and even to get to the zones where we had enough infrastructure in to make the shoot possible. Corey, you've mentioned uh, going to new locations, exploring new terrain. Well, let's go back to that line we were talking about before the break and exactly what it took to get that yeah, shot. Yeah, and it was, it's phenomenal because what you really don't see, we, we do show a little clip in here, but the access point, it's on a knife ridge on skiers left going up that is impossible to even mountaineer up, even with ropes. Oh, wow. And then the access is up a southern face that just gets cooked. And obviously with the narrowness of the chute, once you really drop in beyond five, you know, 50 to 100 feet, there's no out. You, if, if there's an emergency or something, you better point it and aim for the apron. So the guys really put themselves out there and risk Absolutely. it pretty hard. Well, it sounds just about as difficult to get to the top, let alone uh, ski down from it. We almost got caught unprepared. Uh, it had kind of the southern face, the access to get up it, a boot pack up this little couloir had slid out and they were on like an ice layer when they got to the top. <laughs> and they have, you know, the next 20 feet to go. But it was almost the 20 feet where it's, you know, turn around and we'll come back tomorrow with wow. the gear. But then we did the thing is tomorrow there's a storm coming in, so we're going to be shut down for another week. This is our window. So the boys really put themselves out there, you know, calculated the risk and made it happen. So where were you during all this? I was, I guess, during the climb, I was right at the bottom in the previous slide debris. Okay. It was kind of just a little safety and a little lookout for them. If they did hit the ice and get pulled down, we had someone right there with equipment and sleds and mm -hmm. everything. And then Austin, another of our producers and camera guys, was actually set up on the main dividing ridge, looking straight up at it, keeping an angle on them. Were you behind camera as well? I, at that point, I wasn't, but once they got to the top, I moved back around and set up my angle. When you're seeing all this and uh, your athletes are at the top, you're at the bottom capturing it, exactly, though, what's going on through your mind during this? It's a scare factor, and every time, like, my heart gets beating behind the camera, <laughs> and, you know, even as a, a former competitor, I realize a lot of the challenges that these guys are going through. So when my heart gets racing, a lot of the times I'm like, you know, right eye open in the camera, left eye open outside, keeping an eye on them just okay. in case. Wow. And it, it definitely brings the intense factor up just for everybody. It sounds intense. So with that, though, tell me about some of the other webisodes that we have coming up tonight and uh, any interesting facts about those? Well, I think um, one really interesting one, and, and you do see it a lot in a lot of the ski and snowboard films, um, is, you know, a lot of the downtime and the difficulties with weather. And filming a lot in the States, we haven't really had issues with rain before. Huh. So this year, cool. pushing up into Nelson and Pemberton, British Columbia, and Revelstoke, we had several issues with rain, where it'd be raining in town every day, and you really can't get out. Hmm. And it's a deal. Do you, you know, do you spend the money and try to go somewhere else, but you know, and Topher Plimpton says it best, you know the second you leave, it's going to go blue. Right. So do you wait for that next day and risk it? <laughs> Even though you know if you leave, just, you know, Murphy's Law, yeah, it's it going to go fails. blue on you. You bet. So um, that's an interesting one in episode four, just seeing um, we ended up splitting crews before the Canadian border and myself, uh, Corey Felton and Willis Barnett took a crew and met up with Corey's Island, Matt Phillippe in Cook City. And then Austin, Taylor Felton and Topher Plimpton went up and did the two week British Columbia tour. Nice. So what was it like spending some time in BC? It was really good. Like I was saying, you know, Nelson, um, phenomenal snow, uh, a lot of people filming up there. The Brain Farm guys were up there. and. Basically, with it, we just decided, you know, we got three or four good days in, I think, up there. And then we had an awesome opportunity to go see our old buddy, John Johnston, in Pemberton. And he just really was a fantastic both athlete and guide for us there. And we'll be spending some significant amount of time back in Pemberton for season two. 
What's next for Two Plank? Are you guys working on more webisodes, uh, planning more trips? Uh, we're still totally focused on the project. As I was saying earlier, we really have you know a lot of what I like to call the meat and potato shots. We have a lot of our powder. We have a lot of just great ski and content shots. Another unique thing we did this year is we had minimum three cameras on everything. And before, we've usually had one camera and like maybe a point of view camera. Mm -hmm. And this year, we actually just put people together and actually went out as a unit. Uh, so we have, you know, our content really covered. So this season we're really focusing on specific locations and getting some of those more unique trips put, basically put together. And with that, we will be finishing up a season two. So uh, cool. we're going to continue putting out the free content for the runaround promoting the movie, and it has just turned into be a fantastic promotional tool. Corey, remind us then where someone can go and uh, see more about what Two Plank's all about and where someone can watch these websites. Yeah, uh, you can check out uh, The Runaround and tons of other content from Two Plank at twoplank.com, spelled out T-W-O, Plank. And you can read up on the athletes' insights, their stories, and blogs at therunaroundblog.com. Okay, very cool. And when you guys release a video, where can somebody find that? Just twoplank.com as well? Or yeah, no, it'll be on twoplank.com, and it's going to be distributed. You'll be able to find it at your local ski shops. And we'll also be promoting a fairly large movie tour to go along with it coming in fall 2012. Well, yeah. Corey, thanks again so much for coming in Tyler, here. Tyler, thanks. And, uh, Love being here back us. at TV8. Yeah, you know, and uh, we have lots more webisode series, uh, part of the webisode series to show you guys. So c we're going to get right to it. Here's another episode, Two Plank, the run around. Catch it online, twoplank.com. Let's get to it. I'm excited. Alright, I think Although, it'll be good today. It looks like we might be in a cloud again. Yeah, it's socked in again. Pretty excited, I was expecting sun. Seems like it's gonna be a big one though. Yesterday went really well, it was sunny all day, and everybody killed it. Today we went back to the same spot, and yet again the runaround has turned into the storm did. Kind of weathering outside, so I built a little fort in here. Check it out. And just pop out. Yeah, kind of seems to be getting worse. 
Got my camera set up, ready to go. this wedge up here. It's gonna go down today, the landing's massive. We just wrapped up the day and everything went really smooth. It took a little while for me to find out what the speed was, but after two or three jumps, it just took a little bit more than what I thought. And uh, yeah, it was nice to take it down a little bit. It was a lot of fun. Uh, 